I'm sure we've all been in that situation where we're going fishing for some toothy critters. We go to our tackle box and we pull out some leaders to tie on and they look like these examples. They're kinked, they're curly, they're frayed, and uh, they're just not great. So if you want to see how I do my leaders, stay tuned, we're going to go through it. Well, welcome back everyone to the life of an outdoorsman. Today I have to make pike leaders because I'm going pike fishing later today and I don't have any leaders. So I make my own leaders and I use this not too kinky uh, nickel titanium leader wire. So I just tie a swivel, here's a VMC swivel, or not, sorry, not a swivel, um, a snap, VMC snap and a swivel. This is just a eagle laser ball bearing swivel on the other end. And then there you go, you have your leader. Um, I like making my own custom leaders because I can customize the length that I want. It doesn't cause any of the problems that you see in other wire types. It doesn't knot, it doesn't curl, it doesn't have memory. You could spool this up in a little tiny like circle for like ever and then take it out and it'll be pinned straight when you're done. Um, it won't have any of these problems that you see on the screen. So what we do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this out. I'm going to get a closer shot, but we're going to take this out. We're going to cut the lengths we need. I got to get some pliers and uh, we're going to make up some leaders. So stick with me. So like I mentioned earlier, these are the three items you're going to need. You're going to need a swivel, you're going to need the wire, and you're going to need a snap. And you can use whatever wire you want. This is just the wire I prefer because um, it doesn't cause a lot of the problems that other wire does. The only thing is, uh, is this is, you know, doesn't really kink, but if you do kink it somehow, if you get wrapped around something, whatever, if you do end up kinking, it'll probably just snap. But other than that, I don't know if I've ever lost one of these by it snapping like anywhere in the middle. It was, I tied it onto my line once without a swivel on there, just straight to this. And because there was such a, a fine uh, point that it was pulling on the wire, on the loop, it actually folded it over, kinked it, and then it snapped there. And I've also obviously lost them just by losing the lure and my line snaps, not this. So I don't know if I've ever really had one of these wires break due to um, just the wire itself. I've had some of the knots break, like I said, in, you know, specific circumstances. But for the most part, this is some of the best leaders I've ever used just by making my own. So first things first, let's get our wire out. They come in uh, 15 foot uh, coils and you can get them in 12, 15, 18, 20 pounds. These ones are 12 pounds. I don't go for a huge pike, but I find the 12 pound is a nice diameter. And that's the other thing I like about this wire is, if you can find the end here, should be somewhere. All right, I found it, here it is. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but if I, maybe if I put it against this, that wire is extremely thin. The diameter of this 12 pound wire is 0 0.010 inches, which is very, very small for its strength. Like this is 12 pound wire and it's like super small it's actually fairly supple. The last stuff I used was 15 and this and uh, bigger. So this is the first time I've used the 12, but this is actually really thin. It's actually more pliable too than the, than the regular stuff, which is uh, really nice. But see, you can see, you can, you can bend it, you can do whatever you want with it, and it just goes pin straight when you're done. But anyways, back to this. So the diameter is 0 0.010 inch, which is very small. 
And so if we want to multiply that by, oops, I'm trying to do this upside down, it doesn't work so well. 25.4, and that will be a diameter of 0.254 millimeters. That's some pretty small wire, like quite small wire. And this is 12 pounds, as you can see on the bottom right here, 12 pounds. So all you need to do, let's get that out of the way. All you need to do is you need to take your wire, find the end, make sure you pull yourself out as much wire as you're going to want for your leader. And then you want some extra, obviously, for tying the ends. But I'm gonna want a leader that's probably, I don't know, this long. So I'm gonna pull a little bit more wire out. And then I'm just gonna snip it off at that, at that size. You can leave this end in the spool and then tie this end and then see how long you want it and do the other end. But for simplicity's sake and for purposes of showing on this video, I'm just going to snip it at, you know, a rough length of where I want it. Probably I'm gonna cut it at about 18 inches. So then I have like a 14 inch leader. So I'm gonna cut it right about here. You can measure them out too if you want exact sizes, but for me, I'm not that picky. I just know I want a yay big kind of measurement. So we have our wire. Let's pull ourselves out a swivel. Brand new, haven't opened it yet. And let's open her up. I think it comes in a pack of three or four or something. Okay, so there's a swivel. And let's pull out a snap. Brand new package again. <clears throat> okay. Just pull out one snap. I'm gonna make it up a few liters, but probably just one here to show you today. So there, very small, very minimal. I don't know if you can even see that, but right here I have my swivel. It's a little ball bearing swivel. And then I have my snap. So the swivel's gonna go on this end of the wire, and the snap's gonna go on that end of the wire, or you know, whatever, whatever comes first. Alrighty, so now I have my swivel here, I have my snap here, and I have my piece of wire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wire, I'm going to put the swivel onto the wire. And for terminology's sake, we're gonna call this end, the standing end, and we're gonna call this end, the tag end. I hope you can even see this. It's pretty thin wire. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tag end, tag end, standing end. Take the tag end, put it right beside the standing end, I'm gonna take it from behind. I'm gonna go behind the standing end, pull a little bit smaller, so we don't need it that big. A loop over here. So we're gonna take go behind, we're gonna come in front and just create a loop. So what we did is we went behind, we went in front, we created a loop, and we're now in the same spot we were before. Now we're gonna take it again, maybe a little smaller, do another loop and come in front. So now we have two loops that we've created just by going behind the standing end and in front back to where we started. Now we're gonna take that tag end that's over here, we're gonna go behind again, but then we're just gonna go through those two loops like this. And then you wanna hold on to the tag end. You wanna hold on to the tag end and then what you do is you let loose the two loops like this and then you want to be able, when you let them go, they should form kind of a figure eight, kind of like this. And then basically from there, you just pull it tight. And then I'm just gonna grab my pliers here because it's hard to hold onto this wire so it's so slippery and small. So what you wanna do is you wanna take it, 
You want to pull it tight and then that's it. You see that? I don't know if you can see that or not, but basically there is no, like the, there, there's still gaps in that knot. It is not tight, tight, tight. You do not want to go tight with this wire. This wire will snap if you try and tighten that all the way down that, uh, that knot. So you know how you can see it right now. Maybe I'll try and spin it a bit. You can see that right now, right there. You can see gaps. Those gaps are supposed to be in there. You're not supposed to tighten that all the way down. So now what you do is you take this and you just cinch it down, cinch it down, cinch it down. Again, you don't necessarily want to cinch that all the way down. You can let your hook set do that. But if you leave that little bit of a, uh, if you leave that little bit of a, a loop in the end, then it gives it free movement. And then once you set the hook, then maybe it'll tighten it up. But um, if you leave that, that's the way it's supposed to be. Supposed to, your knot is supposed to look, let's see if I can do that here. Your knot is supposed to look a little bit loose. Supposed to, remember that. So now what you do is you just trim your tag end off. You wanna go nice and close. Go nice, pretty much as close as you can get with these kind of pliers. If you've got other type of clippers, you don't want to cut it too, too short. <clears throat> you just want to go nice and close. Leave like a millimeter or two sticking out. Snap, there it goes. There you have a perfectly straight knot. And this wire is going to remain super straight. <clears throat> so now we take the other end and we're going to put our snap on. It's gonna do exactly the same thing. We're gonna put our snap on the line. We're gonna consider this where our swivel is. That's our tag, our, uh, our standing line. And this new end that we're putting the snap on, that's gonna be our tag end. So we're gonna do exact same thing. We're gonna take our line. This is our, this side is our um, tag end. We're gonna have it beside it, and then we're gonna go, we're gonna kinda of cinch it up a little bit. Then we're gonna go behind. We're gonna create our loop. Then we're gonna go behind, create our second loop. And then we're gonna go behind, and stick it through the loops. From behind. Then we're gonna grab our tag in so we don't lose it. See there, we created our, our loop or our figure eight kind of knot. If you were to loosen this up, it would look like a figure eight, but, um, and then basically you're gonna cinch it down, cinch, cinch, you can push it up a little bit so that it's, you're not wasting as much material. And I grab my pliers, I'm gonna grab our tag end with the pliers, and we're gonna cinch that knot down Cinch it down, cinch it down so it looks nice and even. And remember, don't tighten it all the way. So it's nicely cinched down. Now we can take it, hold the knot, and slide our line through all the way down to the end. So our snap there is now on the end. So there we go. We have well, other than taking the tag end off, cutting the tag end off, I should say. Let's cut that tag end. There we go. We have a full leader. We have our snap on that end, line, 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 all the way to this end, where our swivel is. Now you can take this, you can coil it up in a nice small coil. You know, put it through a few times and store it just like that. You could store this for pretty much an infinite amount of time. Take this back out, undo it, and boom, it's pinned straight again. That's what I love about these. 
I was getting frustrated with all of the leaders I had where it would, you know, you'd coil it up or try and store it somehow. You pull it out and it's kinked or bent or any something like that. So this way, you got a wire that's going to always, you undo it, you put it on your line and it's pinned straight again. I love these leaders and I like making them. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to make up a few more here, but uh, yeah. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed and uh, I hope you learned something about uh, making yourself some titanium leaders from this not too kinky wire. And uh, thumbnail anyways. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you learned something. Hopefully you can uh, take this and make your own leaders. You don't have to use this wire, but you can use whatever wire you want, but it's the same kind of method. You would tie, uh, there are various different knots you can use for different wires. Um, more flexible wires, you could probably use your traditional fishing knots. So like your, um, your Palomars and your clinch knots, you know, those kind of knots you could use, but um, for the wire, you kind of, for this specific wire, because if you tighten it down too tight, it will snap. This, you kind of have to use a, a few specific knots. There's a knot that it shows on the back of the, of the package here. Uh, perfection loop is one that you can use that works. Clinch knot supposed to work. I haven't really tried it because I didn't really think it was great for this application. And uh, Albright knot, those kind of things you can use in this. And, uh, but I like that one that uh, I showed you here. I'm not sure what it's called. I just uh, seen a guy on, on YouTube that used that, uh, um, used that knot for this wire and it's been working for me. So I used to use the perfection loop and it worked great. Um, but the tag end would always be sticking out. I think the tag end sticks out sideways on a perfection loop. Yeah, it does. So it was always getting my fingers. This way, the tag end comes out in line with your knot and in line with your, your leader line. So it's not sticking out the side where you kind of always are poking your finger on it. So that's kind of why I like this knot. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Let me know if you... Uh, have any success with making your own leaders. It's super simple. You just buy your thing. This is about uh, 18 bucks a Canadian tire or something like that. Um, I got these online for a cheaper deal. And uh, like I have four, four packages all at once kind of thing. And, and then you just go to any store that has swivels and snaps and pick out some. They don't have to be ball bearing. They don't have to be, you know, specific brands, but uh, that's what I picked up. I like the ball bearing swivels just for some extra peace of mind when it's, things are starting to twist up, but um, yeah. Thanks for watching The Life of an Outdoorsman and uh, see you next time. Oh yeah, I'm going fishing later today and tomorrow doing some pike fishing. I'll see you then.